Bye. 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 Oh my goodness, we are back and we are better than ever. I've been saying that we're back for so long and then we don't come back. Are you kissing me? I love you. Uh, and then we don't come back. But we were just watching my old vlogs and to be able to like, to be able to relive every stage, age and stage of her. Let me turn it up a little bit for you, okay? I need you to make sure you're asking nicely. So excuse the background because we're watching. You can't stop kissing me. To be able to relive every age and stage with her because of these vlogs is amazing. And I want to do the same thing with him. And we've already missed so much. He's almost 18 months. The last time you guys saw him or we posted on YouTube, he was like a newborn, I feel, I feel like. So it bums me out that I missed huge parts of his life and documenting that. But we're, we're back, we're gonna start documenting. And um, luckily, so many of you have, I've connected with on Instagram. So I, <laughs> no, no, no. So I talked to a lot of you on Instagram. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Mwah. No, no, um, no, but I'm excited no. to be able to connect here again and just to kind of catch you guys up. Uh. We have quite a few updates, but first, stinky diaper alert. I'll be back. Uh, we have returned. Okay, so many things to update you on. He is 17 months and a couple days, so almost a year and a half. Collins, you want to come see everybody? No. You don't. Can I move the camera to you so you can wave? No. no. Yeah. Say hi. Can you tell them how old you are? Yeah. How old? Three. Collins is three and looks straight up ancient. And I don't know how to deal with it. So many things, so many things have gone on um, since we've last updated. Obviously a lot happens in a year and a half. But one of the things that has happened, um, Collins, do you want to tell them what mommy's doing today? Yeah. What is mama doing today? Mama comes to see the new baby and comes up. Hang on, talk like a big girl and say it again. Mommy, come get the baby up. Come get the, see the baby. I'm going to see the baby? Where is the baby? In tummy. In my tummy. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Mommy, mommy's pregnant. Where's the baby? In your belly. You have a baby in your belly too? You have a baby in your belly? Can you show him your baby? Collins has a baby. Is your baby in your belly? <laughs> How did you feel when mommy told you that there was a baby in her tummy? So happy. So happy. Had you been asking mommy for a baby in my belly? Yes. Every time we would go to Target, she would look at the clothes and say, can we get this for our baby? But there wasn't a baby in mommy's tummy. And now there is <laughs> a baby. Now, do you want the baby to be a boy or a girl? Girl. A girl. But what happens if it's a boy? I love it. You love it anyway, right? Because who gets to choose yeah. what baby is? Me. No, me. you don't get to choose. Me. Who's the me. only person that gets me. to choose what baby is? Me. No, me. mommy doesn't get me. to choose. Me. God. God. God is the only person that gets to choose. He already chose. He already chose. That's exactly right. He already knows what baby's going to be. And we don't. I think we're going to let it be a surprise. Oh, due date for this baby is late February. I'm hoping I don't have preeclampsia again. I've also been like working on my health. <laughs> so there's a lot of a lot of things that, that we've been up to, um, but praying for a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. Uh, today is our first ultrasound. So mama gets to go, I get to go and do what? Go see the baby. I get to go see the baby today. And mama's gonna bring you back something. What am I gonna bring you back? Mm, a picture. A picture of the baby. That's exactly right. So um, we have our first ultrasound, which I'm super excited about at noon. Oh my gosh, it's already nine. So we did breakfast. We're just kind of relaxing right now. Um, I have a couple work calls before I leave for my appointment, but I will take you along with us and I'll put in some clips of me telling Steven. It's uh, 
not the cutest clip, but it does justice how big of a surprise it was. Um, I mean, not, I know how babies are made. That's always my biggest pet peeve when people say that, but um, just kind of how we found out. Usually my cycles are super predictable. We actually had another scare um, because I, I'm tracking, I'm using natural cycles and I know my body really well at this point. So I felt myself ovulating like almost two weeks early, like a couple days after my period ended, not like one or two days. So anyway, I wasn't pregnant that cycle and we had just talked about trying in December, January of this year. We had like a normal month and then we were on vacation. We had vacation, week off, another vacation, a week long vacation with Steven's family and my family. So I wasn't really tracking. And next thing you know, I was a day late, which I'm like clockwork. So I just kind of had this weird feeling like I was super emotional, nauseous, like throwing up at the beach with my family. On the last day of our beach trip, I took a test. Steven and I went to the store and we did like a frere and a digital. They were both negative. And I have the worst line eyes in the world. I can convince myself that a pregnancy test is positive. Like nobody's business. But I did like, there was no way I could even convince myself. It was shark white, negative. And I was, I remember like telling Steven on the beach, I'm a little bit bummed. Like I'm a little bit disappointed that it, that it was negative. And Steven and I were like, my health was my priority. I have lost 20 pounds in the last six months and I wanted to lose another 20 to 30. Um, but he was like, I kind of was too. I kind of was disappointed too. We'll, we'll get in a good place health wise and then we can, you know, start to try. We'll revisit trying. So I was like bummed that it was negative and that was that. Um, we leave the beach, we're driving home. I'm two days late. And like I said, my cycles are like clockwork and I just felt pregnant. So I got home, I took the test the day before at the beach at like noon, got home 1230, was like, I have a test. I'll just take another test, take the test. And it was like positive, positive, not a faint line. It was positive. I was Mama. shook it. Do you remember when mommy showed you the pregnancy test and there were how many lines? Two, there were two lines and that meant that there was a baby. So I started to take the test and then I like saw the well, line start to pop that. up. So then I started videoing, but you can tell I'm genuinely shocked because literally 24 hours earlier, the test was stark white <laughs> and I was 14. So this was like 15 days past ovulation, I assume. Um, just based on like being two days late. So here are those videos. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a flashlight. <laughs> you just had a negative. Yesterday. Oh my god, you're pe you're pregnant. <laughs> How did that happen? I'm like freaking out a little bit right now. I took a test yesterday. It was blazing negative, like stark white. Well, Collins, I might have something to tell you. I am two days late. Oh my God. <laughs> well, 
kids. Can you show her that? How many, how many, how many lines do you see? How many pink lines do you see on that test? Two. One means that there's no baby in my belly. Two means that there's a baby in my belly. No, no. <laughs> how many lines do you see? Two. What does that mean? Yeah. What does it mean? No, 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 no. What does that mean about mommy's belly? Baby. <laughs> How does that make you feel? How does it make you feel? Kason, there's a baby in mommy's belly. There's a baby in mommy's belly. I mean, that is positive, positive. How is it going to be negative yesterday? Oh my God. Collins was so excited. Steven was shocked. I called my mom, didn't video that. She was shocked. Yeah. Everyone was pretty shocked because I told my mom at the beach, like when I was taking a test and like showed her the negative test. And so everyone was like kind of caught off guard. Um, and although like it wasn't really the plan, we're very happy and we're very excited. So that was, I would have been like exactly four weeks or a little bit past four weeks because that was a couple days after my period was due. So anyway, that's the long winded story of finding out that I was pregnant with baby number three. And I will take you to the ultrasound with me. Let's go. I'm on the way to my appointment. I finally got out of the house. Kason goes down between 1130 and 1230. Um, but he was up at like 545 this morning. So he was ready for a nap. So I put him down really quick. So Kason's asleep and Kennedy is watching Collins and we are on the way to the appointment to see baby. Big boy, baby girl, who knows? I'm excited. Stay tuned. This morning I was showing her like what the baby looked like and what the scan was gonna look like and the scan for eight weeks um, was two babies and she was like um, if there's two babies does that mean tins <laughs> twins tins. <laughs> and I was like yeah that's what that means but mommy doesn't have twins she goes how do you already know that I was like I don't yet but what is this is our oh we're switching OBs but I love that. not because we had a bad experience but just because insurance purposes sonograms first and then we have to come back out and check in for my appointment to see dr spade look at this it's fancy is that your third baby no twins no twins just one little gummy bear in there you going with gummy bear this time yeah you can't even like see the gummy bear limbs, but I'm measuring right that's at nine weeks. She said the head was up here. Yes, that's the arm. Coming out of its head? Yeah, it's just like behind him. Him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Collins is going to love the pictures. Well, except for the fact that you can't really tell what it is, but I told her you're not going to be able to tell. Mm, so exciting. Are you excited to see baby? Yes, baby. Yeah. This is your baby. Now we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Baby. But that's what baby looks like in my belly right now. Can you tell where it is? It's that little. Yeah, yes, it's that little. It looks like a gummy bear, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to go? Show me where the baby is. The baby is there. And yep, Cooper's gonna move out of the way. Yeah. Cooper, come. Come, come. Yeah. <laughs> Jason. Cooper, come. Cooper, come. Cooper, come. Like this. Uh, I have the, uh, I bought you a special necklace that says Big Sister. Hey, I'm here to go get it. Yeah, you sit right oh. there. Oh. oh. <laughs>
you go give Kali sis Kissy a kiss? Oh! Can you sit with Collins? Can I try you, Lolly? Two, three. Can you let Sissy try your Lolly? And then look at mommy, everybody. Give Collins a lick.